Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you a new dungeon and raid build for Blood Knight. Before everything else, we are gonna take a look at our skills. We have Wave of Blood, Swarm of Bats, Siphon Blood, Whirling Strike and Shadow's Edge as our primary attack. And for the set items, we are gonna use 4 pieces of Grace and 2 pieces of Beatles to increase our duration of beneficial effects. We are using two legendary items to enhance our Wave of Blood skill. One of them is this chest piece, Warmth and Likeability. Wave of Blood maximum charges increase by one. And the next one is this offhand, Peer of the Cursed. Wave of Blood now creates a well of death that slows enemies within until they are immobilized, which looks like this. And if you use two of them on top of each other, they stack and they trigger the four piece grace set effect. And to enhance our Swarm of Bats skill, we are using only one legendary item and it's this one, Faces of Fading Mart. Swarm of Bats now also poison enemies, causing them to take 5k continual damage for 3 seconds. This is important because it helps us to trigger 4 piece grace set effect, just like Wave of Blood. And for the Siphon Blood skill, we are using 3 legendary items. And first one is this headpiece, Horns of the Hexed. Siphon Blood is no longer channeled and now moves with you dealing damage and draining the life of nearby enemies. Next, we have this shoulder piece for the Siphon Blood, the Numbing Edge. Siphon Blood now also deals 38% increased damage to enemies suffering from continual damage effects. And we have two continual damage effects in this build. First one is Swarm of Bats Poison and the Burn effect from Whirling Strike. So basically, our Siphon Blood is gonna deal 38% increased damage all the time. And for the Whirling Strike, we are using this main hand, Red Concord, Whirling Strike now combust, causing enemies to burn. Once again, this helps to trigger Grace set effect and it increases the Siphon Blood's damage because it's a continual damage effect. And lastly, to enhance our primary attack Shadow's Edge, we are using this offhand called Mercy's Plight. Shadow's Edge now marks enemies, causing them to erupt for 32k additional damage when reaching 4 marks. And that's all for the legendary items. And for the Paragon tree, we are using the Weaver, this is the best option for dungeons and raids. You get 6.5% increased critical hit chance and 15% increased damage from this Paragon. So it's perfect for dungeons. Other than that, I am using 3 pieces of Vengeance Family Bonus on all of my legendary items. And for the other two, I am using Duration of Beneficial Effects and Primary Attack Damage. But you can swap out Primary Attack Damage with Critical Hit Damage as well. And I have a video about best legendary gems for Blood Knight, if you need help with that, you can check that out too. Now let's see this build in action, and after that I will add my full Paragon build at the end of the video. Only thing you have to pay attention with this build is, using Whirling Strike or Swarm of Bats before using Siphon Blood. And that's it basically. As you can see it clears the mobs really quick, but at the same time it's one of the best builds for single target damage as well. And sometimes people ask, what are these blue lights coming down from the sky? They are the effect of 4 piece grace. Make sure to try this build for yourself and let me know how it went for you in the comments. And this is how it works, now let's move on to the Paragon setup and after that we are gonna end the video. If Executioner Paragon 3 is not available for you just yet, you can use these points on Armor Pan, Potency, Life, Armor or Resistance in that order. 